Okay guys, we are on the last part of our How to Make a Webtoon Using Clip Studio Paint Beginner Friendly Series. What am I doing with my hand? Anyways, with our last video that we that I just posted, your action steps were to add a 3D model to your background, add like the character 3D model to the background, and then also your second step was to use the dots and the arrows to move that said character around. You see, I'm feeling better now. Get this heart monitor off tomorrow. So yay! <laughs> but anyways, after you did those two action steps, we are now going to do our second to final action step i'm going to show you how i draw over top of said character 3d model that we have posed following the action steps of last video so just so that you know all the steps that i'm showing the like i think i'll do like two action steps for this one it's kind of like the same action steps from the video when we started this series so i'll make sure to like <laughs> if i remember to link it <laughs> but let's go I have to cover up his tushy, but here is Clip Studio Paint. Here's a 3D model that we have posed. Editing Shireen here. So I just want to add a disclaimer that you do not... Hmm, how do I put this? So I know I'm showing that I use 3D models. It is not, in my opinion, it is not like against the law <laughs> for you to not want to use 3D models. If you don't want to use 3D models, you don't have to use 3D models. And that does not mean that your webtoon, in my opinion, that doesn't mean that your webtoon won't be good. Your webtoon will still be amazing. Your webtoon will still be good because you enjoyed it. You like it and you're creating something amazing. So just so that you know, the value of your webtoon is not based off of what in my opinion what if you use 3d models or not i think your webtoon is great if you use 3d models and if you don't and i just wanted to add that disclaimer there because i saw some people leave me a few comments on my instagram asking oh, message asking if they could still make a webtoon without using 3d models and then i asked them well why who said you couldn't make a webtoon without 3d models and they said well i don't know if the webtoon will still be good if i don't use 3d models so i just want to add this disclaimer your webtoon will be as good and your webtoon will be good no matter in my opinion no matter what you use i know other people feel differently and that is okay i just want to give you that positive affirmation you're doing great no matter what you're using just just don't break the law and stay safe and stay happy okay back to the video bye let me tap it this is the 3d model that we have posed now your next action step i'm going to show you how i draw over top of it to get something kind of like this okay so first, I'm going to pick my drawing tool. The tool I like to use for inking is the G-Pen. If you don't want to ink, you don't have to ink. If you just want to just draw over top of it and do it your own process, that's totally fine. You don't have to like ink it if you don't want to ink it. This is not me saying you must ink in your stuff. Some people like to keep it just their sketch layer, so you do what's best for you. But anyways, first action step. You're going to select whatever drawing tool you want to use. For me and my process for this webtoon, which is Catch Me, Find Me, Love Me, I like to use a G-Pen. Now, you might notice, hey, I can't draw over top of my 3D model. There's a red mark there. I don't know the linguistics of why it does not allow me to draw over top of said 3D model. But what I do now, after I've selected my ink pen, I make a new layer. This is, you guys remember this from our last video? I make a new layer. I, when I'm doing my lines, like to use vector layers. You can use raster layer if you want. With vector layers, I can make the lines bigger and smaller without having to worry about it looking blurry. So that's why I like to use vector layers. With raster layers, it's gonna look blurry if I like expand it and stuff. So beginner friendly, we are just going to focus on vector layers. So I like to use a vector layer just for my inkings. And then I'll click OK. Whoopsies. So that's what your first action step is. Select whatever tool you want to use. Go to layer, new layer, and click vector okay once you do that it's going to make a new layer over top now your next action step you can do what i did or you can you don't have to use 3d models if you don't want to use 3d models that's totally okay if you use pictures of yourself you can use geometrical shapes you can use just just do what makes you feel best but for my process i i zoom in because <laughs> i like to you don't have to zoom in if you don't want to you might notice my pin's very big so what i do now we can go over here and change the size of our pin there's lots of different areas where you could change the size of the pin i could change it here as well if i wanted to but we can go ahead and make it bigger or smaller if you want to but you can see and make it bigger 
But you see now I can draw all over top of it because it's on a layer now. See, watch. It's gone. It's there. Let's do it one more time. I click the eyeball, it goes away. When I click the eyeball open, it comes back. So we, my next process that I do, I just trace over it. Again, you don't have to. Some people don't like to because they don't, they have their reasons and then their reasons are valid. That's totally okay. But if you want to know what I did, that's what I did. So that's your action step. If you want to do what I'm doing, I'll show you what my lines look like. See, I just traced over it. I just filled in her clothes, did a little hand doodly do. I added some fingers because it was cut off. <laughs> there we go. So here's the line layer from that was just like the tracing of the 3D model. You see? There we go. So th that's your action step. Pick your tool, make a new vector layer so that you can then draw over top of the 3D model if you want to. If you don't want to draw over top of 3D models, you don't want to use 3D models, you do not have to. You do not have to. Now, our last, next to last video is going to be, I'll show you how I upload my webtoon. Because a lot of people are like, how do you make it look like a vertical strip if you're you're doing shorter pages. I'm gonna show you the method of how I export and save with Clip Studio Paint. And again, I know I'm repeating myself, but if you do not like using 3D models because you don't like how it makes your art look, don't use them. You you do whatever is works best for you. So yeah, there's no pressure on my end. I'm not gonna be the type of artist who's going to say, hey, your art's not valid because you don't do it this certain way. No, you do what works best for you. Just stay safe, stay legal, stay healthy. And stay happy. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see you back in the next one. If you're wondering, what about Ibis Paint? What about Metabog? I don't have a computer. I draw traditionally. Don't worry, we can cover that in other series. This one is just how to make a webtoon using Clip Studio Paint, or at least how I make a webtoon, my process. Because I use lots of different processes because my attention span is terrible. But anyways, okay. I shall see you guys back in the next video. Bye. Okay, I'm going to have my husband draw a picture using the 3D model. He he's he doesn't do art, so I think it'll be fun. <laughs> I'm gonna put a 3D model on here and I wanna have him draw the guy and then I'm going to draw the girl. And then yeah. You you excited? Oh yeah, let's do this. <laughs> you should do the face next. Look, I gotta do his arms I'm not I only got a shadow on there. He needs to be skin colored. <laughs> skin colored <laughs> <laughs> <There's> brown. <laughs> Where's what would brown be? <laughs> what would that be like brown? right here? It's the color brown. Okay, so I found this color set right here. This looks like skin colors. So I'm gonna go with this. What the? Well. Shane, why doesn't this work? Well, because you're on the eraser, honey. What? You selected the eraser. Oh, that was. <laughs> that was the... It's okay. <laughs> like, <what? laughs> like this is the eraser. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're wrong. <laughs> well, you gotta, My lines. A, you gotta do it on a different layer. What, why can't I just fill it within this? Or, or I mean, you can. Or, or, why is it not ignoring? What the? <laughs> well, because it's Oh, because I've missed that. There. That should be there. That should not disappear. Otherwise, this program is wrong. Or you can just do it on another layer. No, this is the clothing layer. <laughs> layer. What well, layer? Yeah. I've named it so. <laughs> Nuts. <laughs> That's it. Those are his shoes. Good job. I. <laughs> okay. Make him an angry boy. That looks cool. Okay. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. Stop laughing. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good. Stop laughing. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta do his neck. That part's done. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do his face. Complete. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it overwrite the existing material? That's to be separate, you need its own layer. My programming sense says no. If that is there, that should not <laughs> It will recognize it if you put a new layer. Okay, fine. Okay. Oh, that See? works much better. <laughs>